What works better, live bait versus big soft plastics? We're going to test this today. We're going to use both techniques to catch fish. And the real right answer is it's always situational. Now, you look at the day we have here. It's bright. It's sunny. It's flat calm. There's no wind. Uh, there's almost no current. Uh, that doesn't stop us from catching a bunch of really nice fish. But you have to let the fish tell you what they want and be willing to change up your techniques. So right away, we mark big school of fish on our hummingbird side imaging, get this fresh live bait out, and it doesn't take long. These fish are on this bait, they're all over it, and bam, we're hooked up already. Great way to start the day uh, with getting hooked up that quick. Uh, here, I'm throwing a nine inch soft plastic and what happened is we put that live bunker out or uh, live Manhattan, and when we got hit there, that bait got knocked off the hook. And there was another fish, if you look out there, that's going after that bait. And I just threw that soft plastic out there and bam, hooked up quick. So in that situation, you know, we're using both to our advantage. Uh, I see that bait out there got knocked off, it's getting hit, and that's when we're going to switch it up and throw that plastic out there. Now these are pretty big fish. Most of these fish are over 20 pounds uh, and some are quite a bit larger than that. So generally when you're dealing with big fish, I would definitely want live bait with me. You know, lures, uh, the soft plastics are a great lure. You know, I'll, I'll talk more about them and the, the technique in a minute, but you never know what the day is going to bring. Day in and day out, um, live bait does produce consistently. And if I have the option to have live bait in my boat or not have it, I would always take the bait because you can be out there on a day when lures are not going to work well. Uh, you can see this fish is loaded up with sea lice. This is a fresh ocean migratory fish. Uh, this is springtime. So these fish are just starting to, to migrate in. Um, as far as the soft plastics go, I like throwing uh, these big soft plastics, a nine inch soft plastic. Um, the, they're more of a finesse bait. So believe it or not, you know, we catch a lot of fish here, but this is, these fish are not super aggressive. They're not easy to catch. You're not just going to throw a bait out there, throw the rod on the rod holder and, and, and hook up. And you can see throughout this video, we catch a lot of fish, there's a lot of boats around us, and they just start to do the, uh, the, the swarm in effect where they're all just starting to close in on us because they see us catching fish. But the, the real secret here is switching up the technique, keeping the baits fresh, and using a finesse tactic like the soft plastics. What do I mean by finesse tactic and why do they work so good? It's because I'm able to do a lot with them. I can do, uh, I can work them real erratic, get a lot of side to side motion. You know, I'm not working them in a, in a mechanical, you know, linear pattern. Uh, and when fish are finicky, you got, you got to be able to, to break that. So I'm going to make these really dart hard. I'm going to speed it up, slow it down. And the stop and go technique's real effective. Working it and then stopping it and then starting it, start, stop, pause it, let it sink for uh, a minute, and just that erratic action and that constantly changing the technique and changing the presentation, that's what gets fish to, to react, and that's what works so well today. Um, so really, you want to be able to use both, uh, both things. So if you go out and you only fish soft plastics or you only fish a top order lure, you're going to be limited because some days that specific uh, lure or technique isn't going to work. Um, and even with live bait, you know, some days you have to switch up the, the live bait. You got to kind of bump troll a little bit or um, the, uh, the live bait for whatever reason is not going to work as well. Now, these are pretty big fish. So if I want to catch bigger fish, I definitely want live bait with me. Uh, without a question, but um, 
on days when there's a lot of smaller fish around and I'm looking to catch those smaller fish, the soft plastics do have more of a, a they'll catch more of a variety of sizes. So even on that big nine inch Ochi, we'll catch fish as small as uh, even under 20 inches. And then we also have shots at fish over 40 pounds. With the live bunker, you're kind of limited to, um, you know, even a 30 inch striper can have some trouble taking down a live bunker. You know, you're generally going to be catching fish in the mid 30 inch range and higher, which is great uh, if you want size, but if you want quantity, you know, you want to be able to, to incorporate those, those plastics. And ideally, um, when we're talking about artificials versus live bait, you want to work them both together. So what we do here um, throughout this day is we fish the live baits and when the live baits aren't getting uh, any interest or they're not working or the fish are just coming up and kind of sniffing them and not committed to them, that's when we start throwing the plastics and vice versa. If the fish lose interest in the plastics, we go back to the baits. So we constantly switch it up and it just keeps on changing it so the fish don't get used to the same thing. And that's just what worked so well here. It almost seemed like we'd get a fish or two on a live bait, they'd lose interest. We'd get a fish or two on a plastic, they lose interest and, you know, keep switching it back and forth. Now, I do think um, we definitely did catch more fish on the live bait uh, today. Um, so that was... Uh, a bit more effective, but I, I think the real um, key is being able to, to use both techniques. And there we go. That was a stop and go technique there. That fish was following that plastic for a while. Paused it for a second, sped it up, paused it, and bam, he smashed it. Now, this, to my surprise, is an early season bluefish. Uh, and the blues, uh, they love soft plastics, and they will tear through your soft plastics. So... Be prepared for that and uh, make sure you have a lot of extras um, if you get into bluefish. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something. Uh, comment below. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Real Cash Charters. It helps me um, support my charter business. I'm a full-time guide here. I like to keep making more of these videos and the more subscribers I have and likes and all that stuff, um, the more likely it is that I could keep putting these videos out there. So thanks for watching. Uh, enjoy the rest of this video. Check. Grab this one right here. Oh, there he goes, he's getting hit. There he goes. There you go. Here. Grab that guy. Yeah, Kyle. Right there. Get him. You get two on. Got him. Keep 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 the little tension on him. Choke up on your hand, get it above the foregrip. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Got the whole thing down. It was like a small bit. You get a bite, Mike? Well, I can hear him. Yeah. yeah. Got him? I think so. There you go. Nice job. <laughs>